I'm an artist, but I feel like I'm part of my own creation. Hmm. We're getting deep here. <laughs> um. <laughs> like sometimes people, people stop, right? They get kind of calcified, they get kind of stuck. They decide, this is who I am, this is how I'm gonna be forever. Um, I, on the other hand, believe that you should always be changing, always growing, always working on yourself. Winter Derby is many things, and it would be hard to answer in 25 words or less. His art extends to his persona. He, he assumes kind of personalities and roles are always interesting, always changing. Many of the older artists in this community, I was very fortunate. I was a little weird, a little socially awkward, but they saw that I had a lot of potential and that would outgrow some of my more annoying characteristics. <laughs> He's so open to life and, and such a kind of a extroverted, like visually he's interesting. When I think about why uh, people get interested in art, the people that I know that are creative and do art. Sometimes, well, very often they're introverts and they're imaginative, but that's not enough. You have to have a focus and, and put the work in, and, and that's not always easy. And then you have to go through that period where you're still learning and maybe it's not a great outcome and, and, and it's frustrating and it's a battle, but he doesn't let things stop him. The most important thing about honing your craft is just um, to work on it endlessly over and over. What better way than to just plonk myself down at the Harbor Key and see if I could get complete strangers to pay me to draw them. Okay. That's a pretty good way to hone your craft quickly because you got like, you got 10 minutes to draw a portrait, the person's friends are looking over your shoulder and then you present it to them and it's their face. So there's a lot of pressure uh, to get it right. I made many terrible portraits of people. <laughs> there is a great vulnerability about making art and, and just putting something out to be judged because it's a bit of, of you that's being judged. It's been my passion since I was like four. I just want to capture and celebrate the beauty in the lines and the forms and the ideas that I see around me. It's like there's nothing else in the world at that moment except uh, what I'm trying to create and, well, not even what I'm trying to create, the actual process of creating and the joy of creating it and the, and the fun of exploring lines and making decisions and changing your mind as you're working on the paper. He's uh, a unique, creative, kind, amazing guy. I don't know where my art will take me, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs>